Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Omega and Alpha version. Last part was a little short, all it was is us talking to Steven. And then he started talking about ancient legendary Pokemon. Go to Stateport, uh, later, uh, I think. You know what, fuck it. Let's see how far I can go. Because I think I missed an important HM. Then again, I could be wrong. Oh, what, no cutscene? And that little scene of all the water don't count. And I also found out that I, uh, that Pokemon I wanted is at that area, but I can't get it yet because I don't, I don't have a bike. I can't believe I just snuck past everyone. It's a lighthouse. Was there a lighthouse the whole time? I don't remember. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, thick tard. Oh, there it is, the Team Aqua activity. Your 
quite even level and he knows off of you. Huh, interesting. Oh crap. That's actually pretty strong. Switching here. OP Beldum is not looking so OP anymore. Let's use Combustion. So yeah, also, Combustion knows the two gym leader uh, attacks, Rock Team and Bulk Up. Bulk Up is going to be one really important move. What? I got eaten by a little brat. Oh man, what a disaster. The boss is going to be furious. <laughs> Snively wimp. Stand back and watch me. Watch me, the 27th strongest member of Team Qua. Take care of those kids. Uh, this kid. Interesting to know that they rank their members now. Okay, which Puchiana is this? Okay, this is the one I actually don't prefer to have out right now. This was a bad idea. My god, these Team Rock... Uh, I can almost call them Team Rocket. Team Aqua Grunts are actually stronger compared to the last game. Uh, let's see what else you got. Haha, <laughs> fail. Good thing I actually taught him Roar. Ah, uh, it's another, uh, Garvana. Oh. I kind of wish I killed him one hit. Okay, I think he's going to kill me indirectly. Yep. I can't believe the villains are actually kicking my ass this go around. No, no bat. You're not beating me. What? That's why right, you're a wimp too. He beat the 27th strongest grunt in Team Aqua. Now, what? If we don't get at that case, we're in for it. We're 
I never thought we'd be stopped by such a me uh, some meddling kid. Those meddling kids. Oh shit. It's super buff, uh, Maxi, no wait, Archie, got the two names mixed up. What do we have here? I came to see what was taking so long, just to steal a few parts, and I find you, uh, simples. Getting beaten by this kid. <laughs> That's quite a fierce expression for such a, a wee little scrap. That face tells me you are not just another mindless trainer brat. Oh, it is Archie. The name is Archie. The rough looking in lot of lot you see you hear are members of my team, Team Aqua. So tell me, little gal, a uh, girly, do you know that Pokemon people and life? In this world depends on on the say for life. Not as much as land. <laughs> Onage. That's right. The sea is uh, an ir irreplaceable treasure for every living thing in this planet. But with our selfish ex or humanity, uh, dirties the great ocean, destroying this source of all life. This part is actually half true. Day by day, we're all destroying our most pro uh, precious resource. If we humans suffer from, from our actions, we uh, will, oh, maybe we'll end up getting in that we deserve. But what but about the Pokemon in our world? Oh yeah, the Pokemon in the sea. The Pokemon that no longer have a place to live because we stole old the soiled uh, and soiled their seas. The Pokemon that would have a place to raise their young and watch uh, them grow. We are creating a world that which in, uh, in, uh, innocent, innocent Pokemon suffered as a result of our actions. Pokemon suffered as a result of our actions. And, oh, I already read that. And that is something that I can't forgive. That's why I came to, uh, uh, this decision, see? The foolish actions of my, uh, fellow humans. The sea we have, uh, blighted nature itself. Will restore everything to uh, its unsoiled uh, beginnings. <laughs> it's not like me to talk so much. Yeah, damn right. 
Never mind being a scrap. I'll withdraw for now and leave you be. But understand this. Get in my way again and you won't walk away unscathed next time. Remember that at least. We're moving out, lads. I always forget. Let's completely ignore the fact that they were talking in half sense. I like the fact where he starts reacting like it never even happened. So over muscular a pirate start started barging in as the leader of the gang that was going to oh, what are you doing? He's probably gonna give me thief, aren't you? And he starts going like, oh, uh, I might as well go back to where I'm supposed to go. Yep, I knew it. Good memory. Oh, dang. You so screwed up our plan. Yeah, you bet I did. Now I'll screw it up again. So yeah, this will be until next time. <laughs>